wanted to torture us. What is this called, Tipsy Tuesday? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. It's Tipsy Thursday. Thursday. All right, it's Thirsty Thursday and the Tipsy Recruiter, uh, it's Eric and Erica. She's Erica, I'm Eric. Apparently there's a, a new TikTok challenge. I don't have TikTok. Me neither. Um, but it sounds interesting and terrible. Okay, I have a psychotic idea, but hear me out. I'm obsessed with milk and I like to get drunk, so I'm gonna mix the two things together and see what it tastes like. Eric is going with oat, oat milk. milk for vegan friends. I'm going with a uh, Highland vitamin D milk. For wine, we've got a Merlot uh, 2020, which we all know is a great year. Huh? It's called Lavish, and this is a Menage a Trois. All right, <laughs> so let's uh, go ahead and get started. So it's one part wine. All right, let's do make it. it a nice. Yeah, let's make it a pour. nice one part. All right, Perfect. and then I'm gonna do mine. I thought I had better bartending skills. All right, it's right. really two parts. Shake that up. Two parts like milk. Oat milk. Oat, oat milk gets a little chunky. No, oat milk is smooth and delicious. Ooh, so it's like a purple cow, maybe. We All right. Been drinking yet. <laughs> Do you want this stirred, shaken, or it's curdling up already? I would say stirred for you, because <laughs> I care about your health. This actually looks pretty good. How does oat milk curdle? <laughs> I don't know, but it did. <laughs> So why don't you try that off first? Oh, I hate you. No, we're gonna do this menage a trois together. Let's go. Oh, okay. <laughs> there we go. Little vitamin D. Here, I'll stir you. Don't get a lot of that in the office. It's usually dark when I get oh home. Oh my god. I Yours is very thick. I just, yeah. All right. Don't lick that spoon. Cheers. Smell. I expect it a lot worse, actually. It has no taste. <laughs> it's not or that. Or do I have COVID again? <laughs> like, what do you think? I don't, it's not, I taste a lot of the oat milk. Like I taste oat milk with a wine, like kick at the end, but I expected it to be nauseating and it's really not. I'm it's gonna... not at all. It like, the milk cancels out the wine taste. I am getting an effervescence, though, of um, a <laughs> plum. Rick, rich, <laughs> accented by rich mocha notes, wrapped in a plush, velvety finish. I think it keeps that when you add the milk. I actually then, think it does kind of taste like fruity milk. You know, like, like strawberry milk. Like you put, I don't know, I like berries and cream. It kind of has that a little bit for me. I mean, it is thick. <laughs> that is not terrible. Um, Maybe wouldn't pick it, but it does taste like berries and cream with a little bit of alcohol kick at the end. Not like, horrible. I feel like this is something you're gonna want to drink in the morning. Um, <laughs> it's kind of like a smoothie. <laughs> Throwing some kale. Right, it's got a lot of calcium. It's basically um, health food. You're getting your antioxidants um, from the wine. Yeah. But I think you could turn this into ice cream. I mean, I think you could blend up some ice. Yeah. Um, I mean, and then you could add a couple things. Could make like a sangria. Throw some fruit in there. Some Coke. Sure, it needs a little more bite. I think Coke would be a good addition to this. Coke and milk. <laughs> Coke, milk, and wine. It doesn't yeah. really have a scent It is anymore. kind of like a float. Tastes like a float. I don't think you want to drink too many of these. <laughs> Probably not. Um, I am lactose intolerant. TNT, try new things. Boom, cheers. Cheers. Dolan here from A Beer With Atlas. Just reminding you to drink responsibly. Oh, Try new things. Oh, I, I'm not. I'm not. I just made it up right there. It's so <laughs> stupid. <laughs> no, I like it. Yeah.